In this video, I'm going to be telling you if medical billing can be done at home. The short answer is yes, but the longer answer is... Hi, my name is Tamika and I'm a certified professional biller. When you think about working from home, you probably think that it's the perfect job. Most people do. When I ask them, they say, I just want to be able to work from home. So for medical billing, there are two ways that you can work from home. The first way is through an employer and the second way is as a contract laborer or having your own business. Both ways you can work part-time or full-time and you can even combine them where you work for an employer and then you also work as a contract laborer or you have your own business. Here are some questions that you should ask yourself. The first one is, which one do you want to do? Do you want to work for an employer or do you not want to work for an employer? Then you need to figure out if you're disciplined and a self-starter or you need a little bit of instruction and guidance. You also need to ask yourself why I want to work at home in general. What is the why behind working at home? So here are some points when trying to figure out which one you want to do. When working for an employer, you'll probably have to clock in. So even if you're at home and you don't have to physically go to the job site, you're probably still going to have to clock in on the computer somehow, maybe through the cloud, and make sure you put in your time as to when you were working. Most of the time when you work for an employer, you might not be there physically because you're doing it remotely, but they still expect you to be there physically doing your work every day at a specific time. So keep it that in mind when you do decide to work for an employer, but work from home. You won't be able to just go around, do your laundry, feed the kids, play with the dog. You won't be able to just do that when you're supposed to be actually working. You also would probably have a quota. So most jobs, they need to make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing since you're not actually physically in the office. So they will give you a quota to meet. You know, maybe you have to send out a certain amount of claims, deal with a certain amount of denials, you know, patient statements, stuff like that. They need to make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing on the job because obviously they can't walk in and check or look on you like that. So they have to find a way to figure out if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. They also will probably be checking on you throughout the day. So like I said earlier, you probably won't be able to just, you know, go and wash your clothes or go out and run to the store because they probably will be checking in on you to make sure that you're there in front of the computer doing what you're supposed to be doing. So they might probably do pop-up, you know, Zooms or something like that to figure out if you're actually there doing your work. And also, you would probably still have benefits. So if you get a job that has benefits such as vacation, um, sick time, bonuses, things like that, you probably will still get that even though you're working remotely from home because you are still an employee. Now, when you work as a contract laborer or you have your own business, you don't have a set time that you have to do it. Remember, you are not an employee. You are either a contract laborer or you have your own business, which is also kind of like a contract laborer. So you don't have a set time. Now, if you put that in your contract, which I would not advise to do, but if you put that in the contract, then you would have to be there for a set time. But as far as myself and with most other medical billers who do it that way, they don't have a set time. If I say I'm going to do your billing, I know when I have to do it. I can get up three o'clock and do the billing. So I don't have a set time to be by the computer, let's say eight to five. I can do my job whenever I want to do it. You will also need to be able to manage yourself. No one's going to be behind you telling you that you need to get out this claim or you need to post this payment. You need to make sure that you're self-disciplined and you can do it for yourself that you know when things need to be done and that you get them done. There also probably won't be anybody behind you looking in on you every day like the provider. 
So you need to make sure that you keep in contact with the provider. If the provider emails you or calls you, you call them back. You make sure that you show them that you're in constant communication with them, even though you're not physically in the office. And then you probably won't get any benefits. Now, if there is a person out there who's a medical biller who is a contract laborer or have their own business and they have benefits, please show me how you got them. But for the most part, you will not have benefits. If you have benefits such as vacation, sick time, that is through your own business. It won't be something that the provider supplies. So if you just are a contract laborer and you're doing billing for a provider, on the side, you most likely will not be able to be on their insurance. So you would have to get your own insurance. So you need to factor that in mind when you decide which one you want to do. And actually, you can do them both. For me, I am a employee doing medical billing and I also have my own business. So you don't necessarily have to do one or the other. I spoke about this in an Instagram post that I did but everybody's journey through medical billing is going to be different. Do not let anybody force you into one set journey. We all have different journeys and we will decide when we're ready to quit our nine to five. Even if we even have one to begin with, we might just start off by having a business. Everyone has their own journey. So just make sure that you make sure you're comfortable with your journey and don't let anyone talk you into anything else. So watch this video next about building a medical billing routine and it will probably give you some ideas about what you can do if you are working from home doing medical billing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.